It is judgment day in the Ebony State Governorship Election Tribunal sitting in Abuja, and the court premises are filled with supporters of the parties waiting to hear the verdict. Inside the courtroom, counsels to the governor, Mr. Francis Mwifuru, as well as those of the two petitioners, the People's Democratic Party, PDP, and All Progressives Grand Alliance, ABGA, also with the three-member panel to deliver its judgment. The main ground for the petitions of the PDP and ABGA is the alleged non-qualification of the governor to contest the election. First, the panel delivered its judgment in the petition filed by the candidates of the ABGA, Mr. Bernard Odo. The party had additionally alleged that the governor was not qualified to contest the election on the grounds that he was the Speaker of the Ebony State House of Assembly on the platform of the PDP instead of the APC under which he was declared as governor by INEC. In a unanimous judgment, the three-member panel, headed by Justice Lekan Ogumoye, dismissed the petition of the ABGA candidates for lacking in merit. The tribunal held that ABGA failed to show substantial evidence that Governor Mwifuru did not resign his membership of the PDP. The tribunal also held that the petitioner failed to approach the proper court to entertain the issue of membership of a political party. Next focus now is uh, to get the decision as it is and um, the client will know what to do from that point on. Back in the courtroom, the panel dismissed the petitions of the PDP for lacking in merit. The court held that the petitioners failed to prove that the governor of a Bonny state is not a member of the APC, but is instead a member of the PDP, which was what the petitioners had contended. This is the first uh, step. We still have a court of appeal and a Supreme Court. So from the outset, we knew that if we win, they will go on appeal. And we know that if, we, if it goes this way, we will go on appeal. The petitioners have 14 days to file an appeal, which should be dispensed within the next 60 days. Emanuela Ekele, Channels Television News.